right guys, Andy Elliott. In this video today, I'm gonna to be calling some companies. You guys see all the time I call and I test salespeople and you guys get an opportunity to go flunk or pass. What does that mean? Flunk means like, dude, that was garbage. I mean, that company right there, they wanna make more money. They don't even know what their people sound like or pass. Like, dude, you know what? That guy did a good job. We're gonna let him pass. We're not gonna crucify him today. That guy kicks some butt. So I'm about to call the first car dealership. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Hey, how can I help you? Yeah, I was calling to get some information on a vehicle that's on the website. Yeah, no problem. Let me get you over to our sales team. We'll be happy to help you, okay? Thank you. All right, guys. Here we go. Are you ready? Let's go. Well, yeah, I was calling to get some information on a vehicle I saw on the website. Sure. Hey, what's your name? My name's Tom. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm Good. Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, which vehicle are you calling? Uh, it's a 2020 Subaru Crosscheck. It's a cross trek and it has 60,000 miles. Yes, I'll see good, right here. how good of a job Jimmy does. Okay, awesome. And yes, and and and, and, how, and how many miles are on it? That one has 60,284 on the website. It might be a little more because some of the mechanics do drive the vehicles on a lot. So, I mean, it's, still about, it's probably still about say, under 60,000 or under 61,000. That, that those last three numbers are probably going to be a little bit higher, but it's got to run speed. Okay, awesome. And um, and what is it? What is it on the internet for? How much? Twenty one, twenty one nine. Okay. And what is your best price? The best price is going to be the one on the internet. Of course, you know, if you come in, we can see we can work something out. I mean, are you, would, would you be able to come in today? Because I'll tell you right now, it's the last day of the month. My managers are very eager to get out of the car, so they will definitely work with you. Okay. Um, can you give me an idea what your best deal would be? Um, I would have to have you talk to my sales manager. Um, I'm just a salesman. My job is to basically land you on a vehicle, get you in here, and then my sales manager would be the one that would run the numbers. Okay. All right, cool. Well, let me talk to my wife, and then I'll get back with you. Are you guys local to Yeah, we're, we're just down the road. We're, we're at another car dealership right now. Okay, no worries, no worries. All right, I appreciate you, Jimmy. You said your you said your name was Tom. Yep. Have you been here before? Nope. Okay. All righty, Tom. Thank you very much. Okay, buddy. Hey guys, what's going on? Andy Elliott. I know you know Jason Miller, Worldwide BDC. Super important. If you're seeing this right now, it's because you're a winner. You want to go to the next level. You want to blow up your company. You want to make more money, all right? I love it. Well, let's get down to it. He made a bet with me. He goes, listen, anybody that signs up on this. By the way, sign up means no money exchanges hands. Yeah. Okay? They're going to reach out to you. You're going to fill out the information on the link below. They're going to reach out to you. Number one, they're going to freaking make more calls, more texts. Everything that you've always wanted your dream team to do, internet or BDC, they're going to take care of it. But they're also going to add something. They're literally literally going to sell five cars out of your service drive for free. They're also going to do the internet and BDC thing. And it's all for free. So you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. And what you see is integrity, his pride, the way he takes care of his family, the way that he loves his team, but the way that he guarantees to get results and do it ethically. You're going to be blown away. So guys, click on the link below. Jason, we appreciate you. Appreciate it. Let's change some lives. We got you guys. We'll be in touch soon. Make sure you fill out your information, email, phone number, full name, we'll reach out to you. Come Let's on. Let's kill it. Okay, now listen, the reason why I make these calls, the reason why I call people are, number one, obviously, how serious am I about buying a car? Super serious. So when I say I gotta talk to my wife, he'd say like, I totally get that. The fact that you're in another car dealership right now and you're actually calling me looking at my car and you're with your wife, because obviously she's there with you, right? Like that just shows me that you and your wife aren't ready to make a decision. Why don't you guys do this? It sounds like you guys need to look at another vehicle before you make a decision. I'm not gonna ask you to buy mine, Okay, but I would tell you, you wouldn't be calling me if, if you weren't ready to buy theirs. 
okay? So with that being said, I'm gonna grab the keys of this one so I can pull it up front so you guys can come and touch it, feel it, smell it, make sure you love it. Plus, I want your wife to look at it because obviously that's super important to you or you wouldn't have said you when you talked to your wife. And by the way, talking to your wife, no matter what the price is, she's gonna have to like the, she's gonna have to like the vehicle. And so if she don't come in and look at it, like she's not gonna know if she wants it. Here's what I'll do, I'll make a promise with you. I've never missed a customer on price. And just a minute ago, you asked me what would be my best price. Here's what I'll tell you. I've never missed a customer on price. If you guys will do one thing, you'll come in here and you guys will check the vehicle out. I'll guarantee we'll never miss your, your, your business on money. Is that fair? Okay, I can't wait to meet you. And by the way, what is your wife's name? And I would have just rolled right through that thing. The, the big problem is he didn't get my phone number. That's 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 the problem how's he gonna call me back right I want you to think real quick how's this guy right gonna get a hold of am I serious about buying a car yeah I told him I was in a car dealership I asked him what his best price is I want you to think about language language real quick I said I said what's your best price and then he said oh the internet's my best price and then I said can I get a better deal and you know what he told me he said my job, you'll have to talk to my manager, which means he has zero authority, which I get that he's pushing it off somebody else. But he goes, my job is to get you in here. <laughs> That's what he told me. You guys heard that, right? He goes, my job is to get you in here. Hey, man, just use some different language. My job is to get you in here and land you on a vehicle, and then my manager will basically take care of the money. I don't like that. So you basically just told me that your job is to get me off the phone and get me into the car dealership. And then your job is to land me on some vehicle and then get me inside so that your manager can come talk to me. And, and that right there all around doesn't sound pleasant. Do us a new language, okay? I don't know why car dealerships don't train their people. I have no idea. Um, you know, when I was younger, I we had to know the five by five objections, which means we had to know the top five objections we got every day. We had to know five different ways to overcome them. And by the way, every time somebody called, we got the name, we got the phone number. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Hey, listen, just in case I get disconnected, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a cell phone number, reach up back out to you. By the way, um, you know, I'm also going to send you a link in the car fax of the vehicle that you're calling about. So that way, immediately when we hang up, you can get a little bit more information. on. Does that sound fair? Like, like, what about a phone number? Okay. I don't know why we don't train our people. I don't know. But here's what I'll tell you. I've got friends in the car business that make a lot of money and they're really good. And their customers love them. And then we've got some car dealerships, and this one here in, in specific, um, that didn't even get a phone number. And I'll bet the manager never even knew that I made this call. They'll never know that you know I said I was at a car dealership across the street buying another vehicle. They'll never know that he couldn't overcome. There's just a simple sec uh, second objection I gave him, and he got off the phone with me. One thing I learned about sales is that you gotta be relentless. You can't take no for an answer, okay? So whenever I said, okay, well, I'm gonna talk to my wife. I'm gonna get back with you. He started going into some weird questions. You notice that? He's like, uh, ha have, have you been here before? Did you remember him asking that question? Like, what does that have to do with anything? Have I been there before? You know what I'm saying? Like, people ask that stuff when they haven't been trained. So, anyways, I love you guys. I make these phone calls, and I call clients. I call customers. Um, and I just, I want you guys to just hear, like, what the world sounds like. And if you're in the sales space, which I know a lot of you guys are, right? You don't want to sound like any of these people. When's the last time you've seen me make a phone call to any company? and I cold call a company, and you've seen them do a good job. Never. We've never made one, guys. I've, I've made thousands of phone calls I've recorded. We've never made one good, we've never had a salesperson do a good job one time. Why? And yet all these companies, I bet, want to make more money. All these companies are throwing as much money as they can as advertising, okay? It's crazy. So anyways, with that being said, guys, look, if you're, if you're, if you're a car dealership, if you're a company, if you're a salesperson, if you're someone, and you want you want to be trained, you want to be skilled, you know, you want to be the best at this, the art the art of sales, right? You want to learn it like the back of your hand. Number one, I can teach it to you. Okay. Below, there's going to be a little description box underneath this YouTube video. It's very simple. There's going to be a link. It says "Coach Train with Andy One on One," and I want it, I want you guys to know this. Every single day, I see people breaking records, crushing it, and killing it, and I see a lot of people that don't care. You either got to join the don't care bucket or you got to join the crushing and killing bucket.
okay? And if you want to, you have to have a coach because coaches train you to be the best and they'll push you and push you and push you. And that way you can achieve all your dreams, your goals and more. And all of a sudden you're the top 1% and you're earning the top 1%, which is super important. So guys, click on that link below. If you want to go to the next level, I will help you answer the questions. Make sure you put in the right phone number, put your name in there. And then I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. I hope this video was good. I hope you saw that. Damn, I don't want to sound like that. Guess what? Click on that link. I'll coach you. I'll train you. Let's kick some butt. I'll see you in the next video. Let's go. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.